So in this short video, I explain the difference between research design, research methodology and research methods. So first to start, uh, it helps to know that uh, these terms, uh, they can be arranged in the order uh, of how inclusive or uh, how inclusive or how specific uh, and, or broad they are. So basically the most uh, inclusive and the broadest term F is research design. And then research design includes research methodologies and then research and research methods. And then research methodologies include research methods. So research design is at the top, is the broadest classification and the most inclusive one. And that's the one I'll start with. So research design is the very general approach to research. What kind of data you're hoping to collect, whether you're going, uh, you're hoping to collect numerical data, quantitative data or numbers, or uh, you're hoping to collect uh, data such as individual perspectives, you want to gain insights into individual beliefs or experiences. So as you may suspect by now, uh, when we uh, talk about research design, what we really mean is whether our study will be qualitative or quantitative. Some people also call this uh, flexible and fixed designs, respectively. And then, like I said, within research designs, uh, there are research methodologies. So research methodology is uh, your kind of a plan for your study. So this includes your uh, worldviews, your philosophy about, about the world, about the data you're going to collect, about the ways in which you can collect data. And then uh, as a result, this includes your decisions as to how you're going to collect the data, what you're going to do with that, da uh, that data, what's the purpose of, of collecting uh, your data for your study and uh, how you're going to go about analyzing it. I have a separate video about uh, five most common research methodologies. You may have heard about methodologies such as grounded theory or phenomenology. So as I explained in, in that video, uh, which methodology you choose will depend on what you want to do with the data, what kind of data you're hoping to achieve, but also uh, depends on your, on your views on, uh, as to what's possible uh, in terms of collecting the data. So, and also on this, even the state of research in the field. So for example, if you're planning to conduct a grounded theory study, uh, it means that mo more uh, often than not, there is not much research in the field, but also it tells me a lot about what you believe about, about the nature of reality, about your place as a researcher, and then uh, subsequently the decisions as to, like I said, how to collect the data, whether you're going to use interviews or, or something else, and also how you're going to analyze the data. Because again, in grounded theory, there are certain uh, procedures for qualitative data analysis. So as I said, all of this together uh, forms your research methodology that, that you choose. And then I kind of mentioned that already when I was talking about methodology and grounded theory, there are research methods, research methods, which simply refer to data collection methods. Uh, you can also talk about data analysis methods, but usually when people just mention research methods, what they really mean is data collection methods. So like I said, uh, within your uh, methodologies, uh, you have certain data collection methods. So that's, that's the final thing you're going to decide on. How am I going to collect my data? I'm going to interview my participants, observe them. So, and again, as I said, there are certain methods that quite often refer to certain methodologies. So for example, if you're doing ethnography, you're very likely to, to have observation as at least one of your methods because you want to observe the participants in their natural setting. So as I said at the beginning, again, uh, research design is the most inclusive term and the broadest term, then within it there's, there are certain research methodologies and then within research methodologies are certain research methods. And that's about it. I hope that I helped you understand or clarify certain uh, terms about research. Uh, if I did, please like the video to help others find it online. And if you'd uh, be interested in receiving more personal support from me, uh, you can read under the videos about different kinds of private lessons that I offer.